And so I was just like, okay, be safe. Don't like do anything stupid. He says he complained about his day and she listened. At 10.30, she responded to what I was saying and just said, oh, I'm sorry that you're going through that. And that was the last of my original. Kylie's close. I am and I left around 5.15. She was still here. And like about 12.10 in that afternoon, her friend Nicole showed up at the door. Like I had texted Shannon a few times that day, called her, say, you know, but she never got back to me, but she was not get back to any of her people as well. And that's what really concerned a lot of people is like, she's not getting back to her, like if she doesn't get back to me, that's fine. Like she gets busy during the day, but she didn't get back to her people, which was very concerning. And Nicole called me when she was at the door and that's when I came home. The day of the party, I hung out with her. We made creme brulee. She was, I mean, everything was normal. I don't think she ran away or I mean, I would have noticed if something was slightly off. I definitely feel like that in this current situation that she's safe. I don't know where she is. We don't have anything to go off of at this point, but I fully believe that she's alive and well, and I fully believe that the two of us, three of us, or other people are going to bring her home safe. I hope that she's somewhere safe right now and with the kids, but I mean, could she have been, could she have just taken off? I don't know, but if somebody has her and they're not safe, like, I want them back now. Like, that, that, that's what's in my head. Like, if they're safe right now, they're going to come back. But if they're not safe right now, that's what, that's the not knowing part. Like, if they're not safe, I, I, last night I was, I had every light in the house on. I was hoping that I would just get, just ran over by the kids running in the door and just like barrel rushing me, but it didn't happen. And it was just a traumatic night trying to be here. Gonna ask some kind of tough questions. I just want them back. <laughs> I just, I just want them to come back. And if, if they're not safe right now, that's what's, that's what's tearing me apart. Because if they are safe, they're coming back. But if they're not, this, this, this has got to stop. Like somebody has to come forward. This what's going on around here, and I really hope that all this can lead to something positive. If your wife can see this. If she, if she can watch these, what would, what would you like to tell your wife and your kids? Shannon, Bella, Celeste, if you're out there, just, just, just come back. Like, if somebody has her, just please bring her back. I need to see everybody. I need to see everybody again. This house is not complete with, without anybody here. Please bring her back.